Hi, it's Rich Ferrani. We're at Telecom Exchange 2016 in New York. On our program is Eve Dreher with MRV. Eve, welcome to the show. Thank you, Rich. How's it going? Uh, things are great. So uh, I've known your company for many years in the optical space, but tell me, uh, for those viewers that aren't uh, familiar with what you do, give us some more info. Sure. Uh, the fact that uh, the company was founded in 1988 as an optical company and passed actually this stage and started to integrate packet and optical solutions for metro networks. And uh, today we're focusing on metro service providers, data center operators, we're delivering solution from the perspective of the access of the network, aggregation of the network, metro core, and it's all orchestrated with provisioning software to make operations more simpler and agile from the new way of how network designed. Now, how do you differentiate your company from others? Well, I think it's not only about technology. It's about the people that can go the extra mile and have the right expertise. I think technology-wise, we have great products. We have very broad range of solutions. But the fact of people that can be mentored, design the networks in more appropriate way that's supposed to be more agile, dynamic, and really deliver actually the, the money or generate the revenue from the infrastructure because the fiber is there. Lots of opportunity, right? Yeah, that's correct. And I think uh, yesterday we had service providers awards when uh, we look on uh, the two winners out of five that were our customers, we know that we're in the right spot. So that's... Uh, <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. That's, that's actually good. So uh, the need for bandwidth is not slowing down. How is that going to affect your company? Well, it's just uh, going better. You know, the more capacity required, the more solution we can sell and uh, deliver to our customers. Uh, they can capitalize on their fiber. Fiber is investment for 25 years. So they, it's not just putting the fiber, it's connecting it, optimizing the transmission over the fiber and make sure actually that you can really gain out of this infrastructure in the best way. So our solution, we have broad range of solutions that are scalable, can deliver the range of uh, capacities from low rate to the very high rate. And if you look on the capacity demand, it will not gonna stop. So the way we develop our products uh, is actually to make sure that it's scalable, it's delivering the future-proof design, and it's able to deliver something that will be in a way of network, agile, dynamic, and programmable. Fantastic. Are there any other trends you're seeing in the market other than the need for um, just um, products that are upgradable and just more capacity? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, the two dimensions that still uh, we look on them as critical is one, operations. You know, the automation of the network is, is crucial. The fact that uh, most of the service providers are uh, looking for ways how to effectively use the network and make sure that the operations will be reduced in terms of uh, the OPEX that they spend, it's, it's important. I think the other part, it's not about the big pipes anymore. We're speaking about cases that we need intelligent network that will be able to adapt itself based on the different tra traffic patterns, based on the different capacities in the different pain points to be solved. And uh, I think this, this is something which is critical from the point of view of what we see in addition to the capacity that keep on growing. Are there any other differences you're seeing or any other trends you're seeing uh, in the U.S. versus the rest of the world? Well, I think uh, if we're looking on the fiber rollout to businesses, um, the percentage of medium and small businesses that are getting the fiber to their uh, endpoints is growing in North America. I think the fact of uh, so many different, you know, geographically, you have so many big issues from the perspective of how you connect. It could be an enterprise that's spanning from East Coast to West Coast, and you're spending four or five service providers. Network to network operations are still complex. Uh, those facts creating more complex service level agreements. Uh, and this is something that would see as more interesting from the perspective we need to make some differences from Europe to, to North America, the geographical span, the complexity of services across this complex continent is definitely different. Scaling numbers are different. Fantastic. Is there anything else we should know? Well, um, I think you're going to see interesting things from MRV in the rest of the year from, uh, in terms of new products, new customers. Stay tuned. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Rich.